Shooting stars in the dark night sky Blazing trails behind the moon Hello, this is Michelle Knight and welcome to your weekly astrology for the week starting the 3rd of July. This week we have a full moon and she's pretty intense as the moon is conjunct Pluto, the great transformer. Here's your weekly astrology. Sagittarius, this week the energies are changing. It's still very full on for you. You've got a lot of very intense energy in your primal zone. Your unconscious fears, power, money, obsession, love, all of those things are stoked. But everything is hidden and you can be drawn down the wrong road towards your shadow side. So when we have that primal energy going on, it's very important to look at our unconscious and our unconscious motivation. But apart from that, you have Venus, the planet of love. Well, Venus, the planet of love, is shifting signs and it's going into a wonderful position for you where you are a love magnet. Love becomes much smoother. People have a loving energy towards you. You draw love to you. You're uh, very good at being seductive. It's opportunity to meet someone new. Very positive indeed. You're also going through a phase where you're feeling much more adventurous and outgoing, learning about new things. I'm feeling very comfortable when it comes to communication as Mercury, the planet of communication, shifts signs and goes into your adventure house and the house of learning. You, also, you're very open to unexpected and spontaneous conversations. With the Sun square Jupiter on the 6th, be a bit cautious. There seems to be power struggles when it comes to groups of people. And again, you're not necessarily revealing everything as the 8th house the sun is in your eighth house, which is all about hidden secrets. So you may be enthusiastic about joining a group or doing something out in the world, but make sure it is all that it seems and whatever you do, calm down. The full moon is quite intense for you because it's in your position of money, finance and security. And your primal buttons are poked with this full moon, with those issues coming to a head. On top of that, the sun is in that primal eighth house. Lots of powerful feelings are arising from your unconscious. Make sure you check your own shadow before you go poking about in anyone else's though. It's very easy to project our stuff or not deal with our shadow or not be aware of what we are doing or our responsibility in a situation. And in this case, particularly financial ones, or ones connected to how you see your primal needs are. Also, the sun is and the moon are both square Jupiter, the planet of good fortune. So there may be some argy-bargy when it comes to a group of people. Anyway, don't worry about it. I'm sure this too shall pass. And it's basically a gift to see what's truly go going on deep within your unconscious. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. So much for watching please like and share if you do and i've got a little present for you if you go to horoscope.co.uk i now have a, not only a free chart wheel but free birth chart interpretation so pop along and have a look take care and i'll speak to you soon mm -hmm.